So I am in the middle of doing a lot of different things. So you will probably see like me wearing this outfit for other videos, but hi everyone. My name is Rose, also known as TA Summers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than some of the other videos that I've already uploaded to the channel. I believe this is the first time that I'm uploading an individual uh, book review um, for the channel, uh, unfortunately because of um, SD card issues and corrupted videos, some of the other ones that I did film unfortunately aren't going to make it to the channel, but for this one I thought since I'm in the middle of doing a book um, a reading vlog and I'm going to be reviewing um, certain books in this particular series I thought it would be better for me to do an individual review of this particular book since I'm going to be uh, reading books two and three of this particular series so without further ado let's go ahead and begin the the book that I'm going to review in this respective video is called Crash by Lisa McMahon it is the first in a YA paranormal romance by Lisa McMahon. And so essentially um, the inspiration behind this particular video is because uh, in the midst of, of doing this book vlog and um, kind of doing a retrospective on YA series that I have not finished, uh, the Vision series is one that I read the first book for back in 2017 and I have not picked up the other two books in the series since. So the second and third books within the Vision series for Lisa McMahon's own trilogy are Bang, which is book two, as you can see, this is the cover, and Gas, which is book three, and this is the cover respectively. So I'm definitely planning on reading the rest of this trilogy um, in my respective reading vlog. And so those, that comprises the whole of the Visions trilogy by Lisa McMahon. To um, summarize, this is not going to be a spoilery review. I'm just going to do an overview of what happens to kind of put a placeholder symbol that you'll have context of what I talk about in my upcoming reading vlog about this respective series. But essentially, Crash is the story of a girl named Jules who has very unique visions um, of a particular disaster in which she sees people die. And this these are visions that are shown only to her. Nobody else can see it. She made it in one specific scene within the book, you see her like being in the middle of class and uh, looking at or um, looking at a billboard and seeing this crash happening, this disaster happening um, where nobody else can see it. And people think that she's uh, strange and weird. She thinks she's cr going crazy. She, uh, she basically says that, uh, almost verbatim in terms of her reflections of this respective vision that she has and it, uh, repeats. And so she's trying to figure out, um, you know, what the connection with this specific vision she's having is. And essentially, uh, Jules realizes that uh, one of the people who is in this respective dream that dies is a childhood friend of hers who she does not have contact with anymore. Her uh, family has a rivalry with his family and his name is Sawyer. So essentially um, to talk about Jules's background a little bit, she is the daughter of um, her parents who uh, run a pizza shop. Her father is uh, unfortunately a hoarder and has mental health issues in terms of things that she has to grapple with that as well and uh, essentially the conflict of the central conflict of this novel is Jules trying to deal with both her home life in terms of um, things that are happening with her family and like with the a pizza shop and grappling with this rivalry and um, past that she doesn't know about with respect to the, the a rivalry between her parents and Sawyer's parents and I thought the overarching um, story of this, I liked elements of it, but it definitely does not do well with certain other things. I thought that the paranormal elements were interesting, especially the, the fact that she keeps seeing these terrifying visions and wanting to do something about preventing what she believes is a tragedy. It kind of has Final Destination vibes, which is kind of the, one of the reasons why I initially wanted to pick it up because I'm like, oh, why a um, paranormal story that uh, that might have horror elements that might be in the vein of Final Destination? It's not like Final Destination, y'all. Just letting you know that it is definitely more on the side of paranormal romance because you have 
Jules, who um, is reconciling her, um, both her feelings and her relationship with Sawyer, um, admits this uh, this uh, family rivalry in terms of the pizza shop and having to overt, uh, avert a tragedy that she thinks is going to happen to Sawyer based on the visions that she saw in investigating this, uh, this these events to try to uh, prevent it from happening. So I think to say, I thought that Jules's voice in some ways was kind of flippant um, for a lot of things that were meant to be serious, including the fact that her uh, father struggles with mental health issues and hoarding flippantly like addressing that so it doesn't age well with respect to that. And there are moments where Jules's pursuit of trying to find the truth involves her uh, following Sawyer around in a way that feels very stalkerish, very uh, weirdly uh, done in the sense of what she tries to do to try to save this life. It's commendable in the sense that she's trying to help him and trying to reconcile um, their relationship in the midst of their fa family rivalries and being able to discover the truth about it. But at the same time, it's th it, there are elements of it that just did not sit well with me with respect to this um, particular novel. So without going into too many spoilers about um, what happens in Crash, um, it does um, leave off in a way where um, Jules does uh, realize that the events that she sees in her vision aren't necessarily the way that it actually happens and she has to scramble to, in order to be able to um, avert the tragedy that, be, that she sees coming um, by not being able to predict certain elements of what happens within the um, story. So it's a compelling one. I, I liked elements of it. I, I thought it was engaging and I thought it was very quick to read and easy to read. And it, it provides an interesting twist at the end of the narrative that leads into the um, premise of book two without going into spoilers. And I'll talk more about what book two um, starts off with um, in my reading vlog. But essentially the way that Crash is done, it has good elements to it in terms of exploring the family dynamic and exploring like you know the rivalry between the uh, families and unveiling certain details that make their uh, rivalry come into more context um, between the families and also Jules and Sawyer their uh, relationship with each other. The caveats are that certain elements of it don't age as well as um, and in a sense that is um, comparable to some of the other paranormal romances and paranormal stories with mystery elements um, that can be taken into contemporary context. I believe this particular novel was written back in, let me see if I can confirm what year it was um, written. It was written back in 2013. So I read it about four years after it was uh, published by Simon Pulse, I believe. Yes. But I I feel like Crash had some very interesting elements of it that made me want to continue in the series. And so I definitely plan on reading um, the followed up two books to uh, be able to see what happens to these respective characters despite its caveats. So. so to close off this video, my overall rating for Crash by Lisa McMahon, the first book in the Visions trilogy is three of stars out of five stars. So that is my overarching rating for Crash. That's essentially my review of Crash by Lisa McMahon. And I believe that's it for this particular video. If you like this video and you want me to do more individual reviews of books on the channel, please like and um, leave a comment uh, saying that, um, uh, saying if this format works with for you. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be informed of when I post new videos on the channel. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next video.